Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Sunday School at Christ Church United Methodist. My name is Mr. Bobby. I hope that you guys are doing well. Today is April the 11th. Last Sunday was Easter Sunday. What an amazing day to celebrate Jesus being risen. I hope that you guys had a great Easter Sunday and that you've been out enjoying the amazing weather. I hope that you've put your uh, sunscreen on and your bug spray because the bugs are starting to come out, okay? And we're getting all this nice weather. Now, so Jesus is risen. Remember that. Our faith word today, it what? What, what about that? You need me to get in the wonder box. Why, why do you always, I thought you wanted to hear me talk and see me. You want me to get in the wonder box and see what's in there for you today? Okay, well, let me tell you the faith word for this week first. The faith word is share. Do you share? Some of us don't really like sharing, but it's good to share. Right now, I'm sharing with you. I'm sharing my knowledge, my love, and how faithful I am in Jesus. So, let's go see what's in the Wonder Box then. Here we go. Hmm. we have in here today. So, look at this picture. So, this is a picture of Jesus. And then, of course, he's pointing. And then all the disciples are surrounding him. And we have other papers. I'll show you those toward the end. Your coloring sheets. Okay? So, in today's Today's story, Jesus gathered with his 11 disciples on a mountaintop in Galilee. Some of his disciples were thrilled to see Jesus, and they worshipped him. Some of his disciples doubted that he was Jesus. Why? Remember, Jesus died on the cross, so some doubted. We can live in the same doubt and ambiguity as some of Jesus' followers. We worship God and follow Jesus while having questions, doubts, concerns, and a sense of mystery. So it is kind of mysterious. I mean, you know, Jesus died on the cross and he rose from the dead and ascended to heaven. Okay, so it, it does seem kind of mysterious, but Jesus wanted to come back and he wanted to talk to these disciples about things. So Jesus, however, he, he went ahead and his, with his plan and he commissioned all of them, even the doubters, to go out into the world, bab baptizing, excuse me, baptizing and sharing God's love with people and everything else he had taught them. What an awesome responsibility for 11 people. They were to spread the gospel of Jesus to the entire world. Christianity is now the largest religion in the entire world. And only 11 people were the first commissioned by Jesus to share it. This shows how the gospel can be shared by everyone, regardless of their age, their race, or their economic situation. No one is too young to share the love of Jesus, including you. The disciples kept the faith, 
but more importantly, they shared the faith. Sharing the faith was what was important to them. Uh, especially after the doubters were saved and commissioned to do this, you know, they, they really wanted to make sure that the word got out. To those who believe in Jesus, God gives a new commission to make disciples of all nations. As believers in Jesus, we too are to share with others the love God shares with us. Okay? With this command from Jesus came a promise. Jesus promised the disciples that he would be with them always. Jesus' promise to his disciples is the same promise Jesus gives us today. Jesus guides us and is with us every day. Okay, so with that, we'll do our verses for today. Okay, so in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 16 through 20, then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So he's with us always. So you, even being as young as you are, you can share your love for Jesus. Okay? So you can share. Now, I'm going to show a short video to you guys. So do something just a little bit different. And with this video, this is just a little video that goes through and uh, talks about Jesus' commission. Okay? And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. The way that, the way that it's told is, is very good and, of course... We have animated characters with it, and we all liked animated characters, right? Here we go. Imagine if God gave you a job to do. One day, Jesus' friends found themselves walking up a hill to meet him, which surprised them, as not long before then, he'd been dead. But Jesus was always surprising. They'd spent three years with him and seen him do so much. They'd seen him, are you ready? <gasps> Kill the sick, the lame, and Simon's mother. Even the people that no one else liked. Raise people from the dead. Care for children no one else thought were important. Talk about the kingdom of God. Calm a storm. Feed thousands of people. Twice. Walk on water. Say he was the savior of the whole world. Thought he would suffer and die. Go to Jerusalem, surrounded by large crowds. Curse of victory. Teach a lot. Kick out the temple merchants. Condemn the teachers of the law. Say he would come back again. Predict his betrayal. Be arrested. Heal an ear. Be sentenced to death. Get ridiculed. Be nailed to a cross. Killed and buried. <sighs> so, <sighs> Jesus' friends hadn't expected to meet him again. But there he was. Jesus had risen from the dead. His friends and followers were amazed. They praised God and worshipped him, although some doubted. And Jesus said, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Go then to all peoples everywhere and make them my disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And I will be with you always to the end of the age. Jesus did all this for us, and now he has given us a job to do with the help of his Holy Spirit. So, are you ready? <gasps> okay. 
Wow. So, are you ready to share? Because Jesus made us all disciples. We're all disciples, and we're all supposed to share. So, God's love for everyone is a message worth sharing. You share it as well. It brings joy and happiness to those who believe in God. How does God bring joy and happiness in your life? Your life. Okay. Well, let's say a prayer as we go out. Hands together and bow your heads. God, thank you for helping me share joy and happiness. And we all say together, Amen. So may you always share the good news of Jesus. Go on over to music time and enjoy some amazing music and song with Mr. David and Jeffy. See you guys. Have a great week.